Cigars are simple things, but there's a lot of mystery about how they work. I'm Gordon Mott, the executive editor of Cigar Aficionado. And I'm David Savona. People ask us all the time about the basics of cigar smoking. How are cigars made? What goes inside? How do I best enjoy them? That's why we've created these Cigar 101 videos. Constructing a handmade cigar requires a lot more training and skill than we have. A torciador or a master roller begins with piles of leaves like we have here. There is a wrapper leaf from Ecuador, a binder from Nicaragua, two filler leaves from the Dominican Republic, and another filler from Nicaragua. Now these leaves were all harvested by hand and then cured in a tobacco barn as they turned from green to brown. They were then fermented in large piles to rid them of impurities and then aged in bales for anywhere from six months to several years. Now they're ready to be made into cigars. We're not going to embarrass ourselves by trying to roll a cigar here today, but we are going to show you the various components that go into your smokes. We're going to start with a filler, that's the inside of the cigar, and that's where a cigar maker typically puts the most leaves. Filler's there for flavor, so it doesn't have to look good. Now there are three types of filler. There's seco, which is the lightest and thinnest type of tobacco, viso, a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger, and then there's Lajero, which is the thickest and strongest type of filler tobacco. These leaves have some tears and even some holes in them. Absolutely fine for filler. That would cause it to be rejected, though, if it was a wrapper. The filler leaves are held together by binder leaves. Some cigar companies even use two. The combination of the filler and the binder leaves creates the bunch. Once the bunch is created, it is put in a mold like the one we have here. It's closed, stacked, and put under a press for about an hour. Now the final component in a cigar is the wrapper leaf. And this is the only leaf that a cigar smoker really sees when he buys a cigar. So it's the most important, most expensive, and most delicate. Now one leaf of wrapper tobacco actually makes two wrappers. And the cigar roller cuts that wrapper to shape with this crescent-shaped knife called a chevetta. More than 11 billion cigars are sold every year in the United States, but the vast majority of them are made using machines and scrap tobacco. The smokes that Cigar Aficionado focuses on are all handmade cigars, and Dave is going to show you the difference between the two. That's right, Gordon. We've got two cigars here. This one is a machine-made cigar that you can find in a convenience store. It retails for about 75 cents. This one is a handmade cigar from the Dominican Republic that sells for about $5. We're going to do a little cigar surgery here and take them apart and see okay. what's on the inside. We're going to start by taking apart the handmade cigar. Now, Dave, you're cutting that quite a ways down the cigar. Yeah, that's intentional. They use glue, a little bit of vegetable-based adhesive to hold the cap on. Mm -hmm. So if you cut below that, the wrapper should start to come off. Wow, that's really thin and beautiful. Now, we get to the binder leaf. And basically, the binder is just a rougher wrapper. It provides flavor, but also is there to hold everything together. Now, we have the guts of the cigar. Now that's the part that's been in this mold, so you can see it's really pressed together quite firmly. That's right. These are solid leaves of filler tobacco. They're actually starting to break up a bit. Mm -hmm. And parts of that is from when the, the cigar maker is making his adjustments to the blend, rips off a small piece, relocates it in the bunch. But essentially, this handmade cigar is made of nothing except for tobacco. Long filler, binder, and a very thin and beautiful wrapper. That's perfect. Now let's look at that machine-made cigar and see what's on the inside. I think okay. it's going to be a little different. <laughs> yes. let's take off this head. Here's the first part of the cigar. That looks really different than the uh, wrapper on a hand-rolled cigar. Yeah, this is the hand-rolled leaf, which is a real tobacco leaf. This is not real tobacco. This is actually homogenized tobacco, which is made from scrap tobacco. It's extruded, made into sheets like paper, which is very easily fed into machines. And that homogenized tobacco is also what makes up the binder on this machine-made mm -hmm. cigar. It looks like it's put on just like a regular binder leaf, though. I mean, it is there to hold the the filler part of the cigar. That's right, this does hold the filler part of the cigar together. That's the same thing as the wrapper, homogenized tobacco. And now, here's your inside. As you can see, there are no long leaves there. It's just little pieces of chopped tobacco. Exactly. And do you get that smell, Gordon? Yeah. These machine-made cigars are made with quite a bit of flavorings to change the taste of the, of the cigar. Here are the guts of a machine-made cigar that you get at a convenience store. Chopped tobacco loaded with flavoring. Here's the guts of a handmade cigar that you find in a nice smoke shop. No flavoring, solid leaves of tobacco. That's really different. They're worlds apart. No kidding. 
Now for the best part. Cut it, light it, and puff away. You're well on your way to enjoying one of the finest things in life, a premium hand-rolled cigar. And by knowing what's on the inside, you'll appreciate it even more.